was a uh, offensive lineman in college at uh, Wichita State University. Um, you know, for those of, those of you that know about football, offensive linemen are the the I like to call them the unsung heroes. Uh, you, you only hear our name if we're injured or we get called for a penalty. Uh, but we're the ones that are out there working to try to make everybody else look better. And I look as as a leader, that's the kind of position and kind of mindset that, that you want to have is, you know, my job is to make every other lawyer in this firm, Jenny Strauss, look good, be able to practice law without having to worry about anything else, really. I mean, it's uh, taking everything off their plate to enable them to do what they enjoy and what they're very good at. Uh, but I just think that mentality, the team mentality that, you know, together we're going to do better than we can individually. And, um, yeah, it's what I was, it was what I was raised in. It's what I was trained in and what I'm used to. So I'm trying to continue that on and take those analogies and that feeling into the business world, so to speak. Well, I think COVID's had a, had a dramatic impact on not only our firm, but you know, obviously the community as a whole. You know, back in March when everything hit the fan, so to speak, uh, we strongly encouraged everybody to go home. We did not shut down our firm like some did. Uh, we've since then we've had probably 20% of our, maybe 20, 30% of our firm in the office uh, working purely on a voluntary basis. Everybody else, the remaining 70, 80% has been working remotely. Uh, took some getting used to every once, you know, at the beginning, but I, I, I got handed to our people. They've, they've banded together. They've kept productivity going, uh, made sure our clients were taken care of. Uh, so strangely enough, what we feared would be a huge uh, impact for the firm has actually been, uh, some pretty good times for the firm. I mean, from a productivity standpoint and the ability to make sure our clients are satisfied, um, we've been able to grow. We've added, I think, four or five lawyers during this period of time um, just because of client demand. So it's been, uh, strangely enough, it's been a uh, oddly uh, decent time. And that, that, that's a challenge. It's a challenge, but I think you know, we're blessed at Jenny and Strauss because we've got a tremendous group of people uh, just a phenomenally good character, integrity uh, level of people. And they have, um, they've, they've done a great job pulling together. And, you know, it's like any team that you're trying to motivate, you, you show them that number one, the most important thing to us as management is the health and well being of our firm and our, of our individuals. You know, we, we, we refer to ourselves as a family and we really believe we are. So we want to make sure we take care of our family. And the second, obviously, is make sure our clients are taken care of because they're part of the extended family as well. So our people have really stepped up and, you know, we stay in constant contact with them. We communicate everything, try to um, tell them what's going on, why it's going on, explain the rationale behind the decisions that we're making. And uh, they've really rallied behind the cause and uh, done a great job. Well, we were presented with a couple of opportunities, a couple of lawyers that um, had uh, been referred to us or given, uh, sent their information into us. And we've, we've had a need for a while for some, uh, from some new attorneys. And a couple of them have been summer associates at our firm. So we brought in two of those. And then two or three others were just, uh, we needed to deepen our bench. And we needed to strengthen our team in some areas. And um uh, by happenstance, referrals from in-house counsel at other uh, at clients and uh, referrals from other lawyers of people they knew that were looking to relocate to the valley or change firms, and they just fit the mold we look for, and uh, we brought them on board. And it's been a great success. I, I'm very team oriented. I'm, my background is athletics and college athletics, and um, so I always want to put the team first. I mean, I, I view leadership as a service position. Uh, I take myself out of it and try to make the decision for the best interest of the, the firm and the team. Uh, other than that, you know, you, it, it sounds trite, but you do what's right. You, you make the right decision. You look at the people, you hold them accountable. Uh, you try not to micromanage. 
uh, you get good people, put them in the place to make the right decisions and uh, coach them up when you can. Uh, there's a lot of money on the sidelines that's looking to come into it. And uh, that's going to drive the corporate and real estate um, practice areas, uh, construction. And I think obviously you're going to, once those start taking off, then the litigation kicks in when the disputes start growing out of the, the business transactions. Um, I think the sad part of uh, the situation we've gone through is I think you're going to see increases in family law. Uh, you know, the divorce rate is going to increase uh, because of the stress that people are under during this area. But uh, overall, I think it's it's going to be a good um, good period of time for law firms. I mean, it's going to be competitive. It's going to be all the other challenges. But I think our, a lot of our clients are sitting on the sidelines right now waiting uh, to get some resolution to some of these issues. And then they're going to dive in and want to continue pursuing where they were. Arizona's economy is going to rebound strong, I believe. I mean, if you just count the number of cranes that are around downtown right now, I think one of my partners was saying about 18 cranes down there in different projects. And I know there are projects planned that are going to be coming forward. I may not have broken ground yet, but I think it's um, with uh, the troubles in other parts of the country, I think people, we're going to see more and more influx of people moving here from uh, back east, northwest, uh, where have you. And... Um, that's just going to feed feed the business environment here. I mean, it, the growth here is always what's, you know, as a growth begets growth, and we're going to see more of that.